if you clicked on this video it means you just got your visa or you're about getting your visa or even just planning ahead which is very good well if you are a returning subscriber welcome back to this channel and if you're new here you are highly welcome don't forget to join us by subscribing to this channel from the title of the video i'm sure you already have an idea of what we'll be discussing about essential things you need to pack as an international student while traveling to the USA or to any other country abroad. So let's just get right into this video. Before we begin, I would advise you to make a list of everything you need. Write it in a notepad or a book, whatever you are convenient with, okay? so that you would not forget anything you won't leave anything out as you buy whatever you need or you have whatever you need you just tick it and you move to the next thing that will help you a lot and that will help you not to forget anything before your travel date so the first thing you need to get is a document organizer i'm sure you were expecting me to say food this food that calm down we'll still talk about food i know you like food I like food too, but calm down, we'll talk about food. So <laughs> the first thing is a document organizer. Try to get a document organizer so that on that day when you are traveling, your documents will not be scattered all over so that all important documents you need for your travel would be put together in a particular place so that when you need to present them at any point at the airport, you will be able to present them with ease. So the second thing is for you to get a backpack. That is what we call school bag, right? Get a backpack so that you can put that organizer inside the backpack and other essential things you might need. Sometimes I wouldn't advise you get like a um, fanny pack, like a pouch. I'll put a picture there so that we could understand. So um, when I was traveling, I didn't have that and Unfortunately, I lost my AirPods. If I had a fanny pack, I would have just dropped my AirPods in it and won't have to be putting in my backpack and all of that. So you could put, put little things like in the fanny pack so that you don't have to like misplace your stuffs and all of that so that everything will be put together if you get me so we've spoken about document organizer we've spoken about backpack and a fanny pack next thing is cash having cash with you is very important very 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 important you might need to um get food at the airport probably when you have long layovers and all of that you might be hungry and need to get food if you don't have cash um you won't be able to purchase food nobody will start collecting currency from your home country when that is not what they use here okay so you need to get cash with you even when you get to the country on your arrival you might need cash to do one or two things so having cash is very important so make sure you have cash with you while traveling the next thing is your mobile banking app for your home country make sure you've set your mobile banking app correctly make sure you've done everything that is necessary if you need a dumb account if you need whatever you want to do you have the opportunity to do it now that you are in your home country make sure everything about your home country the bank in your home country is working if it's not working if you want to make some transactions it might be a challenge for you so this is an opportunity to make sure you make everything work before you leave you don't want to come here and be having regrets and all of that so take your time to do all of those things next is clothing i'm sure when it comes to clothing you've heard a lot of people say oh do not bring clothes please bring clothes but do not bring too much clothes if you understand me okay because you don't want to come here and the first thing is you are buying clothes when you have other things to use money to do so come with clothes but do not come with too much clothes when it comes to clothing um you should take note of what season you are coming are you coming in the winter or you are coming in the summer if you are coming in the summer you don't have to start buying winter jacket and all of those things when you come here you could get winter jacket and all that but if you are coming in the winter it's important for you to come with at least two jackets so that when you are coming in 
um you don't freeze to death <laughs> if you get me okay so at least you come with two jackets you can be using pending when you'll be able to buy another jacket okay so it's very important to take note of the season when you are coming don't just come like that and if you are someone that love native wears from your home country it's important for you to bring that along so that when you come here you don't miss it too much because you will hardly find where to buy your native wares here okay so if you're a lover of your native wear bring some of it that you like but don't go and bring too much just some of it almost forgot about shoes shoes are very important for you to bring as well do not bring a lot of shoes but bring some shoes that you are comfortable with okay and make sure you bring bedroom slippers when you are coming as well especially when you arrive that day you will need like bedroom slippers to like walk around the house or something or to go and shower or something you don't want to <laughs> you don't want to carry sneakers to the bedroom to go and shower i'll be walking around with sneakers in fact you're just coming from a journey so you won't be tired and your legs will want to rest so you don't want to be uh, walking around everywhere with sneakers you need bedroom slippers to just so that your left can can be all right next thing i want to talk about that i feel is very important is the boxes you use to travel you see those boxes they have weights they have weight i use them to travel and i will not recommend anybody to use them because those boxes on their own have weight so you will not be able to carry as much things as you want to carry when you get to the airport you start struggling and start removing things you've been wanting to carry which is very painful so i will recommend you use all those bags those bags are really light but they are strong at the same time and you'll be able to carry a lot of things you are wanting to carry instead of using um, those boxes that will prevent you from carrying so much you want to carry because when you are dropping those things at the airport it is painful so don't go through that pain i know you want to travel with all the fancy boxes and all those things but just try to carry um the bags is for your own good to be honest you'll be able to carry a lot of things those boxes have weight i'm talking from experience so another thing about your bags is that you want to weigh them before your travel dates you want to make sure you do this weighing at home okay so that you don't have issues at the airport you don't have to start reducing your things at the airport you'll be able to finalize everything at home if you wait at home you'll be able to know what you want to leave out or what you want to take it is very important so that you don't go and start disarranging your things at the airport and end up missing one or two things so just try to weigh get a skill and try to weigh your bags before your travel day another thing that is very important that you need to have with you while traveling is your adapter it is very important because the plug might be different the plug in your home country might be different from the plug that is here in the us in nigeria it is not a might it is different okay so you need to get an adapter and um it looks just like this it looks just like this like this i don't know if you can see it but it looks just like this so try to get an adapter that's because you will need it to charge your devices your laptop your phone in case you don't have similar plugs so you need them to charge all of those things is medication having medication with you is very important very very important all those pain relief and all of those things and when you are traveling you actually need this medication with you on board so don't put it in your box put it in your fanny pack or probably your backpack anyone that you are comfortable with okay for female you need all those um medications for your cramps and all of those things so don't forget to get medications that are very important to you what i said medications that's what i said not any other thing medications please don't forget to take your medications that are important medications okay next is body essentials you want to take like your body lotion your bath wash sanitary towels all of those little little things that are very important to take care of your body at least carry a little bit that will be okay for you to use for a while before you'll be able to get um 
more of it don't carry a lot no need to carry a lot because all those things are here so you just need some that you'll be able to use for a while probably a month before restocking and all of those things this is the part you've been waiting for food when it comes to food you want to know what to bring and what not to bring do not bring liquid do not bring vegetable oil do not bring palm oil okay you'll not be allowed to travel with that in fact there's no need bringing vegetable oil because you can get vegetable oil here everywhere okay when it comes to palm oil it can be hard you might not get it everywhere but you can get in like african stores and all of that but they will not allow you bring palm oil because it is liquid it can spill and cause damage okay so that is the reason why you can't bring palm oil some people said they used to freeze it and all of those stuff but i'm not sure it's better to be safe than to go there and they take it away from you okay so um you could bring dry vegetables any vegetables you like that is dryable you can bring them along with you seasoning cubes you can bring whatever seasoning cubes you like all of those seasoning cubes you like but make sure that it does not have chicken they won't allow you take seasoning cubes that contains chicken okay you can bring dry fish you can bring eggsy you can bring obono you can bring crayfish all those um soup ingredients you like if you are not nigerian all those stuff you like from your country you can bring as far as they are dried and just to be sure you could check what should be carried and what should not be carried okay just bring all of those dry stuffs you like please do not bring rice there's a lot of rice here so there's no point bringing rice okay don't stress yourself even all those pasta and all of those things there's no need bringing them because there's a lot lot of it here so just carry things that you actually need so that you don't carry a lot of things and just have excess luggage and start dropping things okay carry things that you know it will be hard for you to find and it is acceptable so when arranging your food and all of that in your bags make sure you put them in like a ziplock bag or a clear bag a bag that is clear they could see the content of what you have inside and you want to label them okay you want to write on it and say this is this part this crayfish this obono this egusi you want to do that so that when you are passing immigration and they ask you what's this you won't be struggling to see oh what is this is this cameroon pepper or whatever so if it's labeled you already know what is there and you just tell them this is what it is rather than thinking about it okay so make sure you put them in a clear bag and you label them another thing about food is that normally i won't advise you to bring cereals because there are a lot of cereals here but you know when you arrive you don't have anything to eat right and you want something to eat you'll be very hungry on that day when you arrive or probably the next day and you might not have anything to eat especially when you do not have somebody here you are just coming on your own so you might be hungry and need something to eat so that is when all those series and all those little things are important so just bring little that could sustain you for a day or two days not a lot because there are a lot of series here just for you to eat and not be hungry for that night or the next morning so guys this is the end of the video i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video like i said earlier make sure you make a list of everything you need so that you don't miss out anything on that day and it's possible that i might have missed out some things so if you are here in the us and you feel like something is important to bring let them know in the comment section please and if you have any question or you are not you want to bring this particular stuff that i did not mention and you are not sure if you should bring it or not you can ask me in the comment section and i will answer you thank you for watching today's video please do not forget to subscribe to the channel do not forget to like the video and do not forget to share it to people that it will be useful to okay see you guys in my next video bye Thank you.